In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly mix Altrofix two-part polyurethane adhesives. First, I'm going to mix part A to get rid of any of the separation between the liquid and the adhesive. I'm going to do this for about a minute. After about a minute, I'm going to add part B, all of the contents into part A. And going to mix for about two to three minutes. I'm going to stop halfway in between and clean the edges of my bucket. All of part B into part A. This for about a minute. Stop and then clean the edges. After about a minute of mixing my product, I'm going to take a scrap piece of material and scrape the edges to get all the product that has not been mixed by the paddle. I'm also mixing my adhesive at low RPMs. I don't want to mix any unnecessary air into my adhesive. Again, scraping the edges, getting all the product that has not been mixed by the paddle, getting it into the material as well as down in the crotch of the pail. Clean it off. And proceed to mix again for a minute or until there is no more streaks in the adhesive looking for a uniform color after about two minutes Three minutes, I see I've got a consistent mix, and I'm now ready to head over to my material and spread my adhesive and roll my material into it. Now that I've mixed my product, I'm going to empty out the contents onto my floor, spread it. Avoiding trowel swirls, trying to keep my teeth straight. We are now using a 1 32nd by 1 16th by 1 32nd FFA trowel. After I spread my adhesive, I let it flash off or I leave it open for 10 to 15 minutes. But now any gases or air that's in the adhesive, I am now going to roll my material into the adhesive. push out any bubbles with a push board and then roll both directions with a 100 pound roller. Here we go, pushing out any air with a push board. Before I roll with a 100 pound roller. Thank you. 